did I? I completely misunderstood how this uh, front stand is supposed to work. I just assumed by reading the handbook, um, which by the way reads like a Charles Dickens novel, it's not really like a, an instruction manual, um, that you pull the side stands out and then push back. But um, thanks to my friend John, thank you John for your patience with me, um, it's not that at all. Uh, you actually remove this pin here and through uh, the spring action of this unit, uh, this, this stand actually drops forward to the ground. That wasn't happening before because these bolts were too tight. So um, I've taken this off, I've sort of taken this, assem this assembly apart and it's now working exactly how, how um, it should. So uh, I'll just give you a quick rundown just to show how the bike goes onto this front stand. So it's nothing to do with these legs at all. It's the fact that it rotated forward and not backwards as I thought. So we start by simply removing this retaining pin and yeah, I think this is the wrong pin as well. I think the head needs to be bigger and the thread certainly needs to be longer. Um, and you see there, immediately just releasing that pin, boom, um, the stand dropped to the ground. Well, that wasn't happening before. Um, and I just assumed, actually, because this was so tight, uh, that it went the other way. What was happening also here, there's some lugs here, and I'm thinking with this not being so tight, it was actually compressing this plate in, and the prop stands wouldn't pass this point here so um, no matter how much I lift the bike they were catching on this plate so loosening this off a little bit although it's nipped up you know it's not like it's slack or anything that now allows this prop stand to hit the ground and then as I lift the bike as you're supposed to at the side of the road um, the stand should move forward into a sort of a more of a vertical position Plan B. Yeah, so as you saw, it was still catching on that prop stand. So what I've done is um, I've gone to my Comet and I've removed the left hand prop stand off the Comet. It was working perfectly. And so I thought perhaps I would use or swap the ones off my Comet to the ones on the repeat, but I'll just have to measure them, make sure that they're right. They are the right sized. Just comparing the two prop stands. The one on the left is the Chrome, one from the Comet and the one on the right is from the Rapide and uh, as you can see it's quite a bit longer and so it's probably not going to work. I think it's going to be too short but what I'd like to do is at least install the Chrome one from the Comet just to see if it will spring forward when I release the pin. In other words is this profile correct? As we look at the end profile there, how does that compare to this? Yeah, I mean, they look similar, um, but we won't know until they're on the bike. There could be just a little bit of difference. And I can even mention them as well if necessary. I'm also using the pin from the Comet as well, just to make sure that it's the right size. Okay. Here's the shorter chrome left-hand prop stand from the Comet now on the repeat and uh, you'll see when I remove this pin or this <laughs> screwdriver um, how easily it drops down to the ground and then what I'm going to do is simulate putting the bike onto the stand 
Um, I've removed the other prop stand on the right hand side because of course it's a different length and it will be a bit lopsided. So uh, we'll see. If by lifting the bike the stand moves all the way forward then for sure it's something to do with the profile, perhaps the shoulder of these prop stands on the repeat and I may need to do a little uh, fabrication just to kind of maybe trim those down just a little bit. So here we go. So just removing the pin first of all. Yeah, I mean that springs straight to the ground. There's no catching as we had before. That was already catching and I'll just look at the gap here between this plate and the shoulder of the prop stand. Hope you can see it right there. There's about a sixteenth of an inch maybe. Maybe, yeah, sixteenth of clearance between the shoulder of this prop stand here and the inside of this bracket. And that wasn't there before with the repeat so I think what's happening is there's a shoulder that I'll show you in just a second that's jutting out a little bit too much on the repeat that needs to be trimmed down to allow this easy free movement to occur. Here I'm just going to refit the repeat prop stand just to give you a sense of the lack of clearance with this particular stand, side stand. So again we're going to remove the pin, this screwdriver, and see if it uh, drops down to the earth and, uh, and then see what the clearance is. Okay, so that hit the ground, but you see it's actually locking up as it hits that shoulder. It's only when you really let it spring that it actually hits the ground. And as we look at the side profile here, you'll see there's no clearance. In fact, it's pushing up against the bracket. So um, there's some flexibility in the unit itself, but that's not what we want because when we lift the bike, we want the whole stand to just swing all the way forward into a vertical position without having to like drag it forward with a with a foot or something like that. That's not the point. So, uh, okay, so I'm gonna look at the profiles now and then maybe do a little bit of filing down. So with the bike now on the rear stand, um, I've removed the pin. Um, both sides of the prop stands have dropped straight down to the ground uh, without any resistance. And so now, um, per the instruction manual, we're going to grab hold of the front mudguard stays, lift the bike, and those two those two prop stands should shoot forward with the springs in place now, and immediately act as a centre or a front stand with the front wheel off the ground. Uh, in order to change a tyre or to start working on the motor. Oh. 
Yeah, it's not as far as I thought. Come on. Nah. I thought they would spring more. Come on, guys. Nope, that didn't work. I just fitted a new spring underneath, so hopefully that'll work a lot better now. <laughs> 